What's going on YouTube? Today I'm making a how-to video of how to resize pictures so that they will fit in a heart size shape locket. Um, so I tried numerous websites that claim that they would resize the pictures for you and you just print them out and you'd be good to go. And I tried that multiple times with different websites and the pictures came, uh, kept coming out too small and um, it just did not work for me and I just had to figure it out on my own pretty much. So what I did was, um, and by the way, this is a 20 millimeter locket. So um, pretty much what I used is uh, Microsoft Word 2010. And all you really have to do to try to make this as quick and easy as possible for you guys is um, just go to the folder where you have the pictures that you want to use and you just drag them over to uh, Microsoft Word as I did here and I already have these pictures set up so that they're the right size for the locket that I have and all you have to do after you drag the pictures over to um, the page is you go to page format and you make sure that pictures uh, selected which picture you want to resize and all you do is over here on the right uh, where it says height and width you adjust those dimensions accordingly and all you have to do is um, on the inside of the locket there's these plastic things that cover the pictures um, so you take those out you pop it out with uh, like a pointy object and after you pop it out you take that plastic and you put it up against your computer screen and just pretty much make sure that the picture fits within that and it's at the right size you want it to be and you just adjust these pictures and what I found um, and I even looked up the height and width dimensions for the pictures for lockets online and I couldn't really find anything either um, and there weren't really any uh, websites that really helped when it came to the dimensions of the pictures so uh, for th this picture for example that's uh, selected um, I found that 0.5 for height and 0.66 for width worked for that, but it may differ um, all depending on the size of your locket. So as long as you have that plastic um, from inside of the locket, you just put that up against the picture and you can just adjust the picture accordingly. And after you do that, um, make sure that you print out the, these pictures on a normal sheet of paper to make sure that they're the right dimensions that you need them to be. And after you print them out, you just put them up against the plastic heart um, shape and make sure that they're the right size. So um, I used photo paper, uh, HP photo paper. Um, and all you pretty much have to do is uh, when you uh, drag the pictures over, normally they'll start to the far left and all you gotta do is move them and center them. Um, after you do the trial, uh, print on the regular sheet of paper and all you have to do is I'll uh, walk you through this really quick is you go over to the printer I have a printer uh, scanner and fax machine you take out the printer cartridge you make sure that the printing paper uh, the, the photo part is facing down make sure it's at the very end and you just pop it right back in and that's pretty much it. And then after that, it'll print out. You'll have the images on paper. And then all you have to do after that is, um, I already have the, the ones that I used. And you just get, a, uh, you get the plastic heart shape piece. And um, you put that on the pictures and you get a pen and you outline around uh, the pictures and then after that you get some scissors and you cut out the pictures and then after that um, you're pretty much good to go and you just pop them into the locket you pop the plastic pieces back in and that's it hopefully this guys uh, hopefully this helps you guys out um, just in time for Christmas if you guys got you know a loved one in your family or something a uh, heart shaped locket um, or any locket for that matter this pretty much works for any of those you just gotta make sure that you line up whatever size locket you got with the microsoft word 
and I'm using Microsoft Word 2007. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that before. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much all you have to do. Hopefully this works for you guys. Alright, take care.